Hong Kong, as we know it, is a multicultural city with varying ethnicities being expressed openly, allowing greater economic benefits to the city. In terms of proportions and cultural diversity, many of them are from nearby countries apart from the majority that are Chinese who distinguish themselves as Hong Kongers. So these ethnic minorities are what shapes Hong Kong's society as a whole, providing good connections and enhancing harmonies between races. Southeast Asians are what's known to be the main inhabitants of the minority group in Hong Kong. These people are mainly workers who seek job opportunities that Hong Kong has to offer, jobs that are usually domestic helpers for families of the locals. An increasing amount of them has risen over the past few years and still growing to this day. However, not all seemed okay with these minorities to be residing here. There has been recent news and cases that involves conflicts between the locals and Southeast Asians. The most common issue to occur when it comes to the locals is the occupancy of public spaces by Southeast Asians. Public spaces include parks, streets, subways, and bridges, all of which are the places where they gather together. The amount of gatherers are far too many that could affect the pedestrian flow and noise generation. Discrimination has been a huge issue in Hong Kong and that certain behaviors of the ethnic minorities are what caused it. So an investigation has been made to look at the insight between the locals and the Southeast Asians point of view, allowing us to further understand the issue at hand and possibly be resolved in a peaceful manner. Here is what we have gathered. Well, I think it's good what they're doing because they're supporting their family by leaving the country and doing work somewhere else. It's a good thing. I think that it's good that they're working abroad to help other families. They also they can do whatever they want. As long as there, there's no actual like law or rule that says they can't be here. Okay. I think it's like a good place for them to um, have fun together, no matter where they are, as long as they're happy and I think, yeah. Because the majority of Hong Kong is mostly just people from out of Hong Kong. So. Okay. They can share our culture, uh, their culture around Hong Kong. Right? Yeah. Hong Kong is an international city. Because the families that they take care of are mostly like businessmen. They don't have time to do their own stuff. So. And they're also far away from their family. So I think that um, them working here for their family is a lot of sacrifices because sometimes they don't even have uh, holidays to go back to their home countries. So, from the findings, it just goes to show that despite the disputes between the locals and the Southeast Asians, 
the issue seems to be improving ever so slightly. As compared to previous years, it is certain that discrimination could be less frequent and the relationship between one another has been closer. After many years, the society are accepting more people from abroad gradually. This applies to other nationalities as well, which could bring benefits in reaching out and having a collaborative network with the world.